Hey guys, and welcome back to your girl, Brittany, and we are on the very last hump day handmade. Oh my gosh, I've had so much fun doing these all year, and a big shout out to Scrappy Tate and Sharon Moore for letting me take part in this, and a big shout out to all of you guys who have enjoyed my projects that I had given to you throughout this whole entire year. So uh, this one is for Sandy's Planner Shop. She had showed me this picture, and she had asked me if I could go ahead and make a handmade version of it and i was like you know what i got you and so that's exactly what i did but i revamped it and made it into valentine's day so i do hope you enjoy this project and if you want to see how it's made well guys stay tuned <laughs> So starting off with our back piece, we're going to go ahead and fold on our square lines. And then we are going to take our scissors and we're going to cut on the side of our little square piece and cut up to the joining score line. Then when we're done with that, we're going to grab our front piece. And again, we're going to fold on our score lines. And with this one, we are going to completely remove the squares from this one. Now we're gonna take our front piece and add our adhesive and we are going to attach it to the bottom middle portion of our back piece. Now I do suggest that you go ahead and mat your two by six, which is their side pieces on your back piece because you're gonna take your ruler and you are going to mark it at five inches from the bottom or one inch from the top because we are going to cut that off. Now you can use the scissors or you can use your paper trimmer and you're going to line it up from where you marked it from and you're going to go all the way up to that uh, corner of the actual score line and you're going to cut it at an angle. So now that we have those pieces cut, we're going to fold in our tabs. So I'm going to fold the tabs in accordingly. So I'm going to attach them to my front portion of the mailbox and adhere it together and then after I'm done with that I am going to adhere my side flaps on to the other flaps Now we're going to work on our lid and we're going to fold on all of our score lines and on one side of the lid you are going to completely remove your corner little squares so that's on one side and then on the other side we are going to cut up on those little squares up onto the score line and I did cut little notches on the ends as always and so before I go any further I am going to mat it and then I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to use my exacto knife and cut from that one inch mark to the five inch you can go further along if you want to and then I'm just gonna switch or shift my ruler over and have a parallel line to it and then I'm going to go ahead and connect those lines so I can completely remove this little space here so it actually can be like a mailbox now we're gonna take our back panel piece and half inch mark on your two and a half inch side you don't have to score it all the way down you just kind of want to mark it so it can help be a guide for you i'm going to go ahead and fold in my corners for the lid portion and then the remaining flap i'm going to flip up on it and i am going to adhere that right above the lines that we marked on the side so like I said I didn't do a full score line I just did kind of a marking of it like a small little score because I don't want it to bend I just wanted a guide so now I'm going to take my corner rounder and round those corners and I am going to add my batting piece right on top of that Now the exposed portion of that back flap, that is going to adhere to the back portion of your mailbox. So we're gonna take our adhesive and we're gonna apply that to that and then add it to the back part. 
and then once we get that applied you'll see like the little hanging pieces on the side from our lid we are just going to take our scissors and snip that right off after you do that, then your box is complete and go ahead and decorate it to your liking. I did add some of my SVGs that I currently do have in the shop onto my mailbox. So like the cute little bow up top there and the yes, girlfriend. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>